line for the Jazz 39 Group and CD has been closed for several years now, but how come Saab is still offering the Philippines brand new Group and CDs? Ever wonder why Saab has committed to quickly deliver the new Griots to the Philippines once a contract between the two parties are signed? This is because Saab has 14 new partially built Group and CD airframes that they can readily complete in a matter of two years or less. As part of the contract to build and supply the newer Jazz 39E F Grip and MG to the Swedish Air Force, the Swedish government paid the production of 14 older Jazz 39C D Grippens to keep the production line open until the Grip and MG can be producted. These 14 unfinished airframes are paid for the Swedish government and is being offered for sale to countries that cannot afford the latest Jazz 39E F Grip and MG. That's where the Philippines comes in. The PAFs has been sold with the idea of getting all 14 Gripen CDs for the price of 12 aircraft. Selling these AI frames allows the Swedish government to get back their investment. Production-wise, this means at least half of the time needed to deliver the new aircraft was already done, and the remaining work allows Saab to bring in the first batch of three or four aircraft delivered within one year of contract signing, while the rest can be delivered in batches with several months gap in between. The MRF project is supposed to be part of Horizon 2 of the AFP modernization program slated for 2018 to 2022, which aims to acquire more equipment for external defense. The project also requires 12 MRFs at least capable of patrolling the country's protected waters and airspace. The MRFs are expected to backstop the military's existing fleet of 12 South Korean-made Mach 1.5 capable FA-50PH lightweight jet fighters. Another contender in the PAF's MRF acquisition program is the Lockheed Martin F-16V Viper jet fighter. Any aircraft that will be selected must be able to integrate with existing radar systems that have a range of about 250 nautical miles. <laughs>